Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the Aquaforest Components 1+, plus, 2+, plus, 3+, plus, complete set for supplementation of macro and trace elements. A few videos ago I talked about the Reef Anabolics Complete Elements set, which whilst a similar product is aimed at a different type of tank. It comes in 1 litre bottles and is really designed for nano or smaller demand tanks, where dosing can be done manually every few days by the capful. However, if we look at larger, medium-sized tanks, such as mine, these are the kind of tanks that will more than likely be set up with a dosing pump, and where the consumption is a fair bit higher. In that case, something like this Aquaforest set really becomes attractive, especially if the most important feature for you is total ease of use, and the idea of mixing your own chemicals, dealing with trace elements, and storing various suspect white powders is just not your idea of reefing. The Aquaforest Components Complete Set comes as three 5 litre bottles, as you can see here. They can be dosed straight from the bottles. No mixing, no preparation, just hook them up to your doser, set them to dose in equal amounts, and peg it to your alkalinity consumption. Dosing, done. The chemical composition of component 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus is based on the method developed by Hans Werner Bolling. The formula has been enhanced with trace elements as well. I have spoken about trace elements a fair bit in some of my previous videos, but briefly to recap, they're a fundamental aspect of maintaining marine aquarium organisms in good form, especially over the long term, as their levels can become depleted over time and water changes alone often do not replenish them sufficiently. As a result of being based on the balling method, aquaforest have three bottles that are intended for dosing in equal amounts. It's important to understand that products need to be dosed in equal amounts, adjusted according to the consumption of your alkalinity. If one of your parameters is not balanced, such as low calcium or magnesium, it is recommended to continue administering equal doses of each component, and in many cases, the levels will stabilize and balance on their own. If that's not the case, use a dedicated additive for that element to set the level back to its desired point. If it becomes unbalanced again, look for an obvious cause such as excessive precipitation. Although in some rare cases, some tanks will just demand elements out of a balanced ratio. And if your tank is one of those, you might have to look for a way to supplement that element separately. In order to maintain adequate amounts of trace elements in aquarium water, both magnesium and calcium levels need to be within the recommended range of for calcium, 380 to 460 parts per million, and magnesium, 1180 to 1460 parts per million. So you have a fairly decent range to work within, and as with all things, when you're given a range, aim for the middle. If you're new to dosing, and you don't really have a feel for your consumption, a typical aquarium with an average number of hard corals requires approximately 25 mil of each component per 100 liters of tank water per day. Start there, test your alkalinity at the same time every day until you notice a trend. If your alkalinity is rising, lower the dosage slope slightly. If your alkalinity is falling, increase the dosage. Your aim is to achieve general stability. As you get closer to having a stable parameter, you can test less frequently. However, I would never recommend testing less frequently than once per week. So component one, the calcium additive, contains calcium, strontium, barium, cobalt, manganese, copper, iron, zinc, nickel, and chromium. So all the metals. Component two contains sodium bicarbonate, aka alkalinity, and fluorine and iodine. Component three contains magnesium, potassium, and boron. It also contains Aquaforest's reef mineral salt product, which is essentially a blend of all the non-sodium chloride salt found in seawater, at a ratio to account for all the extra sodium and chloride that we've been adding to our tanks as a result of dosing the first two parts of the boiling method. Dosing this is critical for the long term of a tank's health. For many tanks that rely on two-part boiling based systems to maintain healthy water, Unless you do really massive water changes on occasion, this sodium chloride free salt is an essential component. The reef mineral salt, as Aquaforest calls it, maintains the ionic balance of water. 
which is really its own topic and deserving of its own video. However, it's often overlooked by users of standard two-part systems. And unless your dosing includes the addition of sodium chloride-free salts, it's not a true balling system. All the chemistry and science aside, this dosing system couldn't be any easier. Either hook up the bottles straight to your doser, or decanter them like I do into your own dosing vessels, such as something like this.